is Brian again. So today I'm happy to show you one of important part of data and dislike when they are changing a new model because um, <clears throat> which uh, hyperparameter is uh, best for our model is a curious question that our uh, own data scientists um, may ask may, 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 may happen in, in their mind. So thanks to SegMaker in AWS that supports a uh, uh, can uh, uh, hyperparameter tuning with a uh, SegMaker AWS. So today we will go through a basic sample uh, using TensorFlow container integrated in SegMaker to uh, create a basic convolution neural network to change amnes datasets. Yes, you're right. Yes, um, amnes is very really famous dataset. Yeah, using SegMaker. So <clears throat> we'll change a sample, uh, a sample model to classify the number, the digit number from image. Yeah. So at here we will apply and uh, we will uh, tuning uh, the uh, learning rate rate, for example. Yeah. Okay. So we we'll go through the uh, eight part. The first one is uh, I will show you how to set up the environment. Next is uh, the crawl data, basic MNIST data, and how to upload that into S3 AWS. And uh, next is uh, we create a TensorFlow training job, that uh, how to define the training job. Yeah, and the next is uh, we will run the, we will set up the channel for training and test data set. It means that uh, the uh, URI path, path of S3 will, will define for the training job. And uh, next, Fifth is uh, we will we'll setting up the hyperparameter for tuning job. And at example here, we are setting up tuning for learning rate, for example. And uh, sixth is uh, we will deploy the best model. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, the next one is, uh, last one is uh, how to uh, we evaluate it with uh, some, some test example in uh, our data sets. Yeah, all right, we'll go through the first one. Yeah, setting up environment. So, uh, if you uh, seen, uh, if you seen watching my uh, previous video, that uh, I also mentioned more detail deeply in uh, how to set up environment. So you, as you know here, I run localhost, but uh, to access the uh, uh, AWS resource, we need to create a role. So <clears throat> I go through quickly how to uh, get that role here. But you can go more detail in my. Uh, my uh, my previous uh, video so we go to IAM identity access and management go to rune and at here I create the uh, AWS uh, segmental rune uh, so here we have a uh, segmental full access and uh, we have the uh, rune to access at three yeah because uh, this example we are uh, uh, connect to every use a segmental resource and also uh, connect uh, and uh, modify S3 or bucket. So right, we will copy the ARM of the room. Okay, and data sets we will download the MNIS data set from public S3 because uh, in uh, in uh, AWS S3 they are also hosting uh, some public data sets for us to to use to make experiments. So here we have uh, we define the local data tool. The public, uh, the public bucket in AWS S3. We go quickly the code here. So it will define the chain of test, right? With boon, with boon value, and each chain will define the image client available file, and else with the test, and we we'll connect to S3 using Moto3. Yeah. Okay. We will download that file and store to our local lo local data center. As uh, because uh, for <coughs> for say our time, I also download that just run this, and then you can see here the data, and that and uh, own own data we store in a uh, in our temp tender. Yes. Okay. So we define the TensorFlow training job. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, because uh, uh, TensorFlow uh, because a technical support uh, the uh, 
the TensorFlow container so we can uh, uh, create a TensorFlow uh, container in, uh, in SageMaker. Yeah. So here we have a, a we define the entry point with our chain chain file and the source there, code there, and uh, the role, also the framework version of our TensorFlow, and our model there, yeah, and uh, Python version, also the instant type. And then here I use M5H class, and you can uh, use uh, another uh, machine learning uh, instant, yeah, an instant power one and volume size, also high parameter for uh, defining the TensorFlow job. So at here, we have the ng point gen 5. You can go through, first uh, i show you the, the, the code here. Also, we have the gen file. The gen file, we have the path size, epochs, learning rate, and uh, this example will modify the learning rate. Also, the beta 1, beta 2, and uh, some argument model chain test and you can see here we define a small convolution a small convolution yeah for uh, for apply uh, with through image and uh, go through the label the digit yeah this is uh, the uh, pre-processing loading to the bio right normalize and train okay as you can see here we will look the test lot and also the test accuracy. So this is the magic for high parameter tuner because we will define the test lot and also the accuracy for for our tuner to choose the best lot, also the best accuracy. Yeah. Okay, that is how we define TensorFlow, and uh, uh we noticed that uh this is not TensorFlow native. This is uh, TensorFlow import from a uh, SageMaker. You know, remember that. Okay, so next we will we'll go through setting up the channel. So at here we are uh, define the um, just like the URI to uh, to our uh, to our data sets for for the training job, right? And here we upload the data local our local data to the S three, and I can show you here that if you create the segment us east because it's my region okay this today is a 5th october so this is source yeah this is our source there you create that and also we create the amnesty here if we upload our data sets right see here okay I will talk about that later so uh, to set up hyperparameter to make sure now uh, with the following step uh, we will uh, define the range of hyperparameter we plan to use in this example we will tune uh, the learning rate and uh, we define the object uh, metric for tuner job to optimize uh, here we use uh, the loss uh, the loss uh, yeah the loss value and create the hyperparameter tuner for a both setting as well as a tuning resource configuration. And uh, for a typical uh, machine learning uh, model, we have uh, three kind of type of parameters. So the first one is uh, categorical parameters uh, that we need to take a uh, one value from a discrete set. Uh, we define this by passing a list of possible uh, value, uh, categorical parameter list. Yeah. And uh, another is a continuous parameter you can uh, take real value between uh, the minimum and maximum value, and we define by a continuous parameter uh, start from mean and uh, uh, the upper uh, uh, bound is uh, the max. And an uh, integer parameter can take uh, any integer value from a minimum and maximum value and define by integer parameter means mass. Okay, so the the learning rate, you know, as you know, that is a uh, continuous value variable to define by uh, we will define by continuous parameter so that here we will define the learning rate continuous parameter of, yeah okay so remember that uh, this learning rate is uh, must be like the same of uh, the argument here yeah for our model can uh, for 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 the two node can uh, can pass that uh, 
uh, argument to to for for the training. Okay, so uh, we need to define uh, the uh, objective metric. So here we have a uh, average test lot. We need to turn uh, to to turn and. Uh, Okay, we need to also, uh, the object time is minimized or maximized, okay? And also we have uh, the metric definition here. We have file the name and also important here, the, the pre regex with the test log. We will get the value from test log because if uh, we will determine uh, the model is based or not. So the test log must be the same with, uh, because uh, the log here we will log into the, uh, the uh, CloudWatch, AWS CloudWatch. So uh, we need to define the regex, the regex uh, uh, the syntax to uh, for our tuner can get the value, yeah, get it, this value, okay, from the CloudWatch log. Okay, so we uh, we uh, use uh, 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 we create the hyperparameter to the object, and we define the estimate uh, the model uh, the 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 to be defined, and also the um, metric name, hyperparameter range, and also the mass drop here, I create a free mass drop and a mass parameter drop, okay? And then uh, you can see, uh, go to more detail about hyperparameter tuner here. So uh, this is the link, so you can uh, go to more detail, like estimator, object metric, hyperparameter range, and also metric definition, yeah, okay? Uh, when we run uh, this hybrid tuner, we will create uh, uh, three drops for us. As you can see that there is three inputs training job because uh, we have been create, create uh, three instances. So we go through the detail of each uh, instance. So for the first job, the status here is the uh, input set of chaining. Yeah. And also you can see that the UI input for M is Peterson's right. Okay. And also the regrets to for test log test loss for our tuner can uh, get the, the best loss. Okay, so here is the, the high parameters. Yeah, to uh, define for for the job. Okay, after that we uh, uh, after finishing the job, we will uh, deploy the best model, our best model. Okay, so uh, for. We use uh, because the tuner here we are uh, we uh, we we store the best model for us, and uh, we'll deploy the endpoint the endpoint for for for, for our best model, and we'll define the instant type here, and also instant count for us. Yeah, and you can see here we uh, already the uh, I already uh, <coughs> deployed the best model, and you can see in uh, the end. The endpoint, go to inference endpoint here. We have a uh, this endpoint is a in service status today. Okay. The time view time. Okay. Let me see. Create the instant time and five H class. Okay. The model name and training job right. And we can evaluate that. So we can evaluate the best uh, performing model in voting with an uh, endpoint with an uh, MNIST test. Okay, the test data will need to be uh, ready consumed by model. Okay, so we will normalize them just like apply a pre processing, um, pre processing step. Yeah, we got the image file, read the MNIST, and so apply the uh, there yeah, some uh, some sample and also normalize them. You can see that uh, this uh, is the image from MS file, which is, and we uh, apply the prediction. Okay, if you predict the number first, you can see here is uh, 
we uh, it's a uh, like the same it's really high high accuracy yeah so after using uh, it, uh, this uh, uh, endpoint we can uh, uh, clean up uh, to uh, to save our money so we can delete the endpoint okay let's check the endpoint here Yeah, you can see that uh, it couldn't find the endpoint because we on, already did that. Yeah, there's no current result here. So today, uh, in conclusion, today I uh, already show you how to uh, define hyperparameter tuning in uh, our segment uh, with uh, a uh, basic example with a classification. Uh, MNIST data set uh, with digit image so uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, if you like that and uh, you can share and uh, subscribe and uh, comment for more detail or which topic that you want me to to show to you and thank you bye bye